Let's write the structural formula for chloroethane. We'll also look at the Lewis structure for chloroethane. The molecular formula, the chemical formula, is C2H5Cl. But if we're just given chloroethane, we know that it ends in A-N-E. A-N-E, that means it's an alkane. The carbons, they'll be single bonded. The F, that means we'll have two carbons in the longest chain. So we'll have two carbons and they're single bonded. And then the chloro, that tells us we'll have a chlorine on one of the carbons. So let's put two carbons up here. And we said because it's an alkane, they'll be single bonded. Because we have an alkane, each carbon is going to have four bonds. So we'll need four bonds on each one of the carbons here. We know we have one chlorine and it really doesn't matter where we put it. Let's just put it right here. And then for the rest of the molecule, we have the hydrogens. So let's just put those around. And we've used five hydrogens, the one chlorine, and the two carbons. So that's our chloroethane. This is the structure for chloroethane. You could write hydrogens in for each one of these lines here. If we think of this as a Lewis structure, each one of the bonds, that represents two electrons, a pair of electrons, and they're shared between atoms in a covalent bond. So you could write those in and have the Lewis structure as well. If we wanted to look at this a little more three-dimensionally, that would look like this. You can see we have the two carbons, and then this carbon has one, two, three hydrogens, and this carbon has two hydrogens and the chlorine. That's chloroethane. The molecular geometry with respect to each carbon would be tetrahedral. This is Dr. B with the structural formula for chloroethane, C2H5Cl. Thanks for watching.